Hey, Elise Pickett here with The Urban Harvest, and today I am going to show you how to get rid of aphids in your garden. So aphids are a super common problem here in uh, Florida and elsewhere across the country, especially this time of year. They just seem to go crazy in the heat. Um, I'm going to show you a few quick tips and tricks to get rid of them. Aphids are really small, soft-bodied creatures. They can come in a variety of colors, so don't always look for just black. They can be white, greenish, orangish or black brownish. They're going to be sedentary. You're not going to see them crawling around or anything like that. Um, and they're very tiny. They tend to congregate on like tender leafy greens, flower petals. Um, if your infestation is really bad, you'll start to see them in abundance on the produce itself and all along the stems. But usually when you're first trying to catch the problem, it's gonna be those nooks and crannies and those tiny tender portions of the plant that you're gonna find them on first. If you catch it early enough and you um, only have a handful of aphids on the plants, because you're doing your inspection in the garden on a regular basis, then hand squishing is honestly the easiest way to go. If you're really grossed out by it, maybe wear a pair of gloves. Uh, next step after that is blasting off the plants with a hose that will get most of the aphids off of your plants. If everything is planted really close together, um, you might end up blasting the aphids from one plant to another. So if everything's really tightly planted together, that might not be your best option. Um, but if it's just a plant or two here or there, that could work for you. Um, one of the best solutions I find is a two-pronged approach, um, one of which is neem oil. And you spray that on the plants and that will kill the aphids on contact and also make it less likely for the pests to come back to that plant. Because it is an organic method, if we have any sort of heavy rains or anything, you will need to reapply. Um, also make sure that you're doing this early morning or very late in the evening so that your plants don't burn from uh, applying the neem oil. And spray the produce directly. Um, there's no harmful chemicals or anything like that. You can harvest your produce same day if necessary. Um, so no worries about that. You can spray the whole plant, the produce, the stems, all of it completely, undersides of leaves and oversides of leaves. Ants and aphids have this awesome, well, awesome for them, symbiotic relationship, which basically means they both benefit from having each other around. So if you ever notice an issue with aphids on your plants, look closely and more often than not, you'll also see ants. And basically what's happening here is the aphids are sucking um, the sap out of your plants. And when they do that, they excrete this sticky, sweet substance. And that's what the ants are after. The ants eat that as food. And so clearly aphids don't really move. Um, they're just kind of um, soft bodied, very easy prey for things like ladybugs. Ladybugs kill aphids. They go crazy for aphids but the ladybugs can't get to the aphids if the ants are around. So what's happening is the ants use the aphids for a food source for that sick, sticky sap-like um, excretion the aphids make. So they protect the aphids from anything that would be a natural predator, like a ladybug. So you'll see the ants actually running up and down the stems, moving the aphids around the plants, and protecting them from any would-be natural predators. So to help get rid of the aphids naturally, um, draw the ants away by giving them an even easier food source. So if I have a really big problem in the garden with the aphids, um, I will usually set a little tray of sugar water at the base of the plants. It's easier for the ants to eat that than it is to mess with the aphids. So they'll go there for an easy food source leaving the aphids unprotected so that natural predators like ladybugs can move in and do their job. Give these tips a try in your garden and if they do help you, make sure to leave me a comment below. I'd love to get the feedback. 
And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you're notified every time a new video comes out on Florida-based vegetable gardening. Have a great day.